G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. So I just wanted to get on here real quick and say a couple of things. Um, firstly, to all my subscribers that have hit that subscribe button, also hit the bell notification. I truly, truly appreciate the fact that you support me, the fact that you're on this YouTube venture with me. Um, I can't thank you enough. My YouTube channel is growing, you know, it's growing. 630, I think I'm up to. Still trying to get to a thousand. But the subscribers I have now, I, I truly appreciate every every comment. No, it, it really does mean a lot to me. So I'm going to continue making videos. But the last week, I guess, and really watched a lot of videos and really analysing what's out there and and what people do. Some good, some bad. You know, I think everyone has an opinion about this, but there are some great hugely talented hairdressers out there there's also some not so talented hairdressers out there but that's in every field so you have never cut hair before i have cut my own hair and several dogs but i feel like um my channel it, it, i'm really starting to understand a little bit more about what youtube's about so I watched this one YouTuber that hooked his phone up to with duct tape, you know, he didn't have the right equipment and it was just poorly videoed. Great, sort of weird, weird guy to watch, but the setup was all bad and the sound was terrible, but it was interesting to see that, you know, it goes to show anyone can upload a video and anyone, everyone can be the next YouTuber and everyone's trying to be the next YouTuber. So it's just trying to understand what content and what's important and what to put out there. I think everyone tries to find their own style, which is important. You know, what, what's important to you? You know, what, what do I want to put out there? What do I want to put out in the internet world? And, and for me, it's the industry. It's what we put into it. It's, it's the salon. It's the, the person behind the chair. It's the stories. It's the haircut. It's, or it's the technique. I only wish to learn. I will do whatever it takes. It's not my life, it's, well, it's a piece of my life. It's not, you know, my everyday stuff that, you know, my personal stuff. It's my stuff that happens at work, you know, it's my, my career. And I think that's important. And I think that people that watch this channel will understand that, you know, you don't have to be a hairdresser to watch my channel, but I think I focus more towards the hairdresser or the early hairdresser. I think it's important to give back a little bit more. And I love YouTube, I love watching it. And the fact that anyone can do this is amazing. And here's a little bit of my rant, you know, don't knock something until you try it yourself. It's a hard thing to do. It's easy to sit back behind the computer and go, oh yeah, I could be better than that, or I could do this, or well, that guy's no good, or whatever. But you know, I admire anyone that's wanting to try it, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to learn it myself. So it's important to understand. Even though I think that there's bad hair, bad hairdressers or bad YouTubers or whatever it is, I'm falling in that category too, just as long as I'm learning and growing. So please understand that. You have the book, stamina, the desire. But you have no training or experience? 